Hello guys, welcome back to Tech Projects. I am back with another video. So in this video, we are going to see how to create a good custom dialog in Android Studio with buttons and animations and on clicks. So we are going to explore almost everything about a custom dialog, how to create that in Android Studio. So in future, if you want any kind of custom dialog you want to create in any project, then you can easily do it. So before starting this video, first of all, let's see a demo video what we are going to make in today's video. So for this, I have to open my phone. So I open my phone and this is the application which we are going to create. So it contain a button show dialog. So if I click on this, so you can see it contain an animation and this is the custom dialog which we are going to create. So if I click on login, I get the toast of login clicked and I set this toast but you can set any functionality which you want and if I click on close button, it close the dialog. So I set this animation so you can set any kind of animation, it is your choice whatever you want to do. So in this video we are going to explore it, how to implement these things in Android. So don't further delay, now let's start the video. So first of all for this open your Android studio and after opening Android studio click on file and then you click on new then new project click app new activity click on next and give any project name so i give the name custom dialog tutorial and you can use any language and then click on finish i am going to use java in this project so now it will going to create this project so you can see the project is created successful and we are ready to write the code so first of all let's split this and it is still loading so we have to wait so now it will be successful so first of all i am deleting this text view and what i need here i need a relative layout here instead of constraint layout so first of all i want to copy paste the code from my previous project to save your time and also mine time because that is the same code you can do it by own so for this i open my previous project and first of all what thing i am copying here from here first of all i am copying the images which i want to use inside my project so i control c and then i paste the inside our drawable so i completely paste the drawable here so you can see it contain this image and it contain this button background so it is showing error so don't worry and it contain this image and this is close icon so i imported this icon as a vector asset so you can do it from right click on drawable then new and then you have to vector asset and you can search close here and then you can import this now let's import some more things so i am going to import strings and as well as colors which i am going to use inside my project so it will help to save over lots of time open colors.xml i am going to use mainly these two colors so Control c copy and open this project i pasting these colors here now open your strings and I am copying these strings so it is your choice whether you want to paste or not you can type it manually so this is extra so I delete this so this is done you can see it contains some basic text like please log in to redeem your promo code login have a promo code something like that and if I open this button VG so you can see now the error is gone now I am pasting also the main activity code because I am going to write focus on the how to create custom dialog. So I am opening this and I simply copy this app compact button to show on my main screen so, and paste the code here. So you can see it contain a button and I am setting the background gray. So now we are ready to write the code. So if user click on this button so you can see it is a normal button which contain a text show dialog, background, text color, center in parent pass true and the ID is ID is show dialog so whenever user click on this button then we have to show the custom dialog so for this showing the custom dialog first of all we have to create a layout file so right click on layout then new then layout resource file and give the file name here custom dialog so you can give any file name it is your choice I am going to give this click on ok and we now click on split and here we have to write the code how we are going to create this so first of all change the constraint layout to I am changing it to material card view I am going to use this material card view so it is your choice whether you want to use normal card view or material card view but i am preferring here material card view because it contain a better elevation and setting the layout height and layout with wrap content so wrap content also so this is done now what we need to add here first of all we need to add some margin so margin left 10 dp margin right 10 dp it is fine whatever the margin you want to add now we have a elevation elevation 10 dp then we have a card elevation and 10 dp and then we have a card corner radius so i am also giving this as a 10 dp so this is done 
now inside this what i need i need a relative layout relative layout and the, i am setting this as a wrap content wrap content also then close this now inside this what i need first of all i need a image view to show the main background image image view set the layout with match parent height wrap content and then source and the source of this vg card i already imported this image so you can use any image according to your own choice so you can see now it is imported here successfully and it is looking perfect and you can also set the scale type center crop it is your choice so it will fill all over the image so it just looks amazing now below this what i need i need an image button to close the dialog how to implement an image button so take an open bracket type here image button set the layout with wrap content wrap content and then we have to set the tint so i am going to use color gray for this image button source and the source is close this one and then we have a background so i am setting the background and at the rate android color transparent then it is showing error so we have to use it app tint here instead of this so it is fine now set the align parent right pass to so you can place it anywhere where you want and setting the padding 20 dp to add an extra space from all side and you can see now it is implemented here successfully and now at last we have to give an id so if user click on this button then we have to show close our dialog so close dialog i give this id name now below this what we need i need a image view which will show the gift icon image view setting the layout with match parent and height of this image view is 200 dp because this is hard coded and we have to set it according to my project then we have a center horizontal pass through first of all let's set a source and the source of this is gift bg so you can see it is implemented here successfully and then give the margin top and i am giving the margin top 50 dp so you can give any margin top it is yours so you can see it is not perfect now close this now below this what i need i need a text view so take an open bracket type a text view set the layout with match parent height is wrap content and i am giving the id here main text and here i have to give also id so id main image because i have to take the reference of to place this text view using this image then layout below main image then we have to set the text so i am setting the text first of all text style bold then we have to set the text so let's set the text size first then set the text so in the text which we are going to use i already import this string so may have a promo code then we have a text color so text color black then what we have we have to set the text alignment and text alignment center then we have a font family and font family is sans serif this one now close this so this is done now below this what we need we need a, and one more text view to set the promo code line so match parent wrap content and id of this is main sub text i give this id name then we have a margin top and i give the margin top 5 dp then we have to set the text and i give the text here subtext i already imported the string then we have a text alignment and text alignment center then we have to place this layout below and where we have to place our main text here so this is done now close this as well now at the bottom at last what we need we need a button so take an open bracket and we are going to use android app app compact button because in normal button of android studio it is not possible to set the background color that's why it is showing error so i'm using this and i am setting the 180 dp width and 50 dp height and at last what i need i need to give any id login button and then what we need we have a center horizontal pass through then layout below layout below sub text then we can give the margin top margin top 40 dp it is fine and margin bottom is also 40 dp it is fine then we have a background so background i am going to use button bg so this is perfect then we have a text what you want to set here so i set the text login then we have a text color and text color is white so this is perfect now close this and at last it is your choice whether you want to set the text size or not so i set the text size here 15 sp so this is the design of our custom dialog is finished so hope you understand how to create the custom dialog design now let's see how to implement animation in this so first of all right click on resource then new then click on android resource directory sorry i click on file so right click on here then new android resource directory and from here give the directory name here any because if we want to add animation then first of all we have to create animation for animation files for this so then click on ok now inside this we can click create any file so right click on here then new then click on animation resource file so i am going to create two animations zoom in and zoom out zoom in 
and the second one is zoom out new animation and source file zoom out so it is better to instead of writing code i can copy paste the code and then i will explain you code how the code is working so i open this project and first of all i open the zoom in then copy this now i paste the zoom zoom in code here so first of all let's see what it contains so it contain an xml line and then it contain a scale this scale so don't worry about this scale now what it contain main thing so from i want to grow my show my custom dialog from 0 to 1 so that's why it, i type here from 0 i want to start i don't want to show anything in starting then i want to and 0 means nothing and it is like a probability 0 means nothing and 1 means completely visible so i want to show from 0 to 1 and this is same for y i also want 0 to 1 now this is pivot x pivot y what is this so i want to show from this left corner from top left corner so that's why i set here pivot x pivot y if you set it to 100 then it will going to show bottom left so you can do experiment whatever you want and this is the duration so you have you have to set any kind of duration whatever you want so i set the duration 500 so 500 means half second so 1000 contain one second so 500 millisecond it is like a millisecond so hope you understand this is zoom in and in zoom out what i have to do i have copy the code and i pasting the code here so it is your choice whether you want to set the animation is going to done with the help of this scale attribute but it is your choice whether you want to implement scale attribute and it is your choice whether you want to add scale attribute inside set so you can do anything so i am using here both method now in this method zoom out i write the same code from 500 and when i want to hide my dialog so it is completely visible on that time so i simply type here from 1 to 0 from 1 to 0 and i set the pivot x 100 percent 100 percent so it will going to show bottom right corner so that's it so now close this so this is the animation is done so now let's see how to add this animation so for this you have to open your themes.xml and here you have to add a custom style to add this animation so i open this project i open the themes and then i copy this style so it is your basic code you can type it by own so it contain this style you can give any name i give dialogue animation report now you have to type this line manually so when you take an open bracket type here uh, item name window animation style so it will going to automatically show installation so you can see it contains some attributes so in enter add animation i add this zoom in and in exit animation i add zoom out so you have to give the same file name which you give here otherwise it will going to show error now you have to simply copy this style again and paste this same style inside your this themes night as well so this is done now close this close this so all work is done now only the main activity.java work is left so open this and here we have to write the code so first of all what i need i need to take a button here so button and then i have to take the instance of dialog type dialog so now first of all let's assign the button id button equal find view id r dot id dot show dialog button so this is the id name then if someone click on this button button dot set on click listener then new then capital one press enter so i have to call the function show dialog here so now let's create this function so press enter public void show dialog and then we are going to write the code how to show the dialog so first of all i already declare a variable so i have to take the instant dialog equal new dialog and inside this we have to pass this now we have to set the custom design on our dialog box so dialog dot set content view and r dot layout dot custom dialog so now we set the design successful now we have to set the animation so dialog dot get window dot get attributes dot window animations and inside this you can pass your styles name r dot style dot dialog animations so i give this file name inside my themes you can see dialog animation report so you can give any file strings name it is your choice now we have to set the background of dialog as well so we have to make it transparent from background dialog dot get window dot set background drawable resource and inside this we have to pass here android r dot color dot transparent it is present by default in and at last we have to find uh, now let's see how to find the ids of button and text you in dialog so for this i have a one button in my dialog so this is the login button login button so now we have to type here so for this finding we have to use this dialog type variable dialog dot and then we can use find view id so i forget to give the id name inside this custom dialog so open this and this is the id login button here i give this so why it is not showing here so login button this is fine now we have a close button as well so that is image view 
first of all let me confirm whether it is an image view or image button it is a image view image button image button and this is the close dialog so dialog dot find view id r dot id dot close dialog so this is done now we can set on click listener as normally so close dialog dot set on click listener if someone click on this then what i have to do i have to dismiss the dialog so dialog dot dismiss and if someone click on login button login button dot set on click listener then new and if someone click on this then i can show the toast toast dot make test get application context and i can type here clicked you can type anything whichever you want toast dot lens shot dot show and last thing don't forget to add a here dialog dot show so it will going to show the dialog so now our app is finally ready so now let's check our app whether the app is working or not i mean it is working fine then we will end this video so i click on run button and create a start building so now the app built successfully and it will going to install the application inside our phone so now application installed successfully so if i click on this show dialog so you can see animation is working perfectly and the, this text and also it is working fine so if i close this dialog is dismissed successfully and if i click on login i get the toast of click so you can see our perfect this is the perfect dialog how to implement in android studio so if you have any query if you have any question just comment down below if you need any files if you need any color code then let me know in comments so i am opening this zoom out so you can pause it and you can type it because i don't type this code because it will going to save a lot of time that's why i don't type these codes here this is the two colors which i use here this is some strings and this is the themes so i hope guys you like this video if you have any question just comment down below so thank you see you soon in next amazing video thank you